Hey, so this is Super Supersonic God Barbecue, and today we are going to be talking about some big, big news. I'm hyped. We have just finished the list domination, the best event card ever, and we've all been put on the list because we're all stupid idiots for thinking that this week would be a team event. Well, we're wrong. So we've got big stuff to talk about. Huge tweet came out from WWE Supercard. I'm super hype about it because it could mean one of two very big things. And given we're so close to WrestleMania, you probably know why I'm hype about it. Because we're going to talk about that in just a sec. Right, once we've got past this waiting on network. Yep. Whilst we're waiting on the network, don't forget to hit the like button. If you could hit that with a code breaker. Don't smash your phone, but as hard as you can without physically hurting yourself. That'd be great. Ah, the network has been fixed. Brilliant. And also don't forget to subscribe as well to the channel if you want to see more WWE Supercard and all those other things. But we're going to get right into the crux of the story. There is no team event tomorrow. So big, big news. No team event tomorrow. Now, usually that would be like a... What, it's saying broken or something? Like, I don't know. A glitch? Oh, no, none. None. None at all. None at all. Anyway, moving very swiftly onwards, let's talk about why there's no team event tomorrow. So I got new guys into the team. I was very, very happy, very excited about it. We had a Twitch stream. I got I, my team filled up. I got new guys and gals. Um, they're going to get, they're really excited to get themselves some new ultimate cards, some elite cards, some hardened cards in Team Road to Glory. But we've got an even more exciting announcement that instead of Team Road to Glory, regular Road to Glory is happening. Why? Well, we can theorize, but nothing's been confirmed yet, but there's a lot of things floating around about what it could mean. Now, being as we are so close to WrestleMania, let's look at those tweets right now. I'm going to show you those on screen, and they're big, big ones. First of all, the breaking news, the I Am Jericho Road to Glory has been brought forward to Monday, and there is no team event. The event starts on Monday at 2 p.m. and finishes Wednesday uh, at some point, it doesn't actually say when, but we're going to talk about that more later on. Now, just to clarify, the start time is in Pacific Standard Time. If I'm not wrong, the American clocks have actually gone forward, so us in the UK and anyone else around the world, the event will start at the same time that the team events start, just to clarify on that part. And I did wait to see more details today, but nothing else has come out at this point, but maybe we'll see it. Now, I'm expecting this Road to Glory to be one of the best ones possible i would be not surprised at all if we get a very very big card such as a i know a brock lesnar maybe even another female card maybe like a sasha banks for example or a charlotte available i mean i wouldn't be surprised obviously i'm not saying it's going to happen they could just do a normal road to glory and just have i don't know like an enzo amore in there or something or like i don't know brian kendrick's so it's a pro for people or something but i know what people are gonna say straight away and that is oh my god they're gonna start it and it's only gonna last for like two days how am i gonna finish it well this i have alluded to in my previous videos and that is something called a flash road to glory now they haven't said it's a flash road to glory and i've got a pretty good idea as to why and again we're going to talk about that in a minute but let me know what you think about this huge announcement and what it means in the comment sections below everything from here on in is purely speculation but i've got a really good feeling about this you may have also seen there's a pack opening sale going on at the moment it's actually intentional they've dropped the price of every single pack down now honestly if you want to get yourself some good packs my friend opened some the other day uh, he got himself two throwback plus packs he wasn't in ultimate he got himself two daniel bryan back to back uh, i'm really really super happy for him because that means he gets into ultimate and gets chris jericho and the lowered points in this week's flash road to glory mean that he is going to probably also get the pro jericho his first event card pro i'm just gonna put a couple of cards in here because i want to uh don't want to level up my jericho whilst we're talking and stuff because i've got a lot of theories i've got ideas running around my head right now i am so pumped for this big big announcement and we're going to talk about it in more detail right now and not in a million years did i expect that we were going to see something like this this soon i i was honestly expecting that there was going to be some kind of um, announcement close to wrestlemania but let's talk about what it actually means. What it means is that there is a new tier or something new coming soon. 
which they are now speeding up. And there was hints at that when Jericho was first announced because Jericho's card is absolutely crazily overpowered. I mean, it is beyond... It almost four stats any card. So there was a lot of thoughts that it could be that this was going to be the last event card in the ultimate tier. So whilst I play this, I'm going to talk about it. Now, first of all, the most important point is to look at the time it's going to run from. And it's going to run from 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which means it'll be a 9 p.m. GMT start. So British time, 9 p.m. GMT start as far as I have seen, unless they announce anything different. And it's going to run until Wednesday. Now, notice they didn't put a time on there. And I am going to go out there and say that they did this purposefully not to give anything away. Because in the past, what this usually means, and a flash road to glory, means a new tier is coming or something big is coming, like another flash event. Maybe a PCC might be coming back, possibly a surprise PCC. Who knows at this point? I'm going to go out there and say that I think that there is only one justification for this, and that is it's a new tier that's coming. And it's coming earlier, probably because they've got something really special planned for the WrestleMania weekend. Also, you got to think about it, they probably want to get in there before other games, like Champions, get in there to uh, get an update out and get people playing the game, etc. I mean, they could always run a limited edition event. You've also got the Money in the Bank rewards be coming up this Thursday stroke Friday, so there is every possibility that there could be a brand new tier out on Wednesday and new Money in the Bank rewards out literally two days afterwards, which would be insane. Because I'm a stupid idiot, I, I forgot to take my rank deck out of Elite Plus Plus, so I had to come out of the game quickly. But just to talk more about the end time, my personal opinion is this will run the same time as the team events used to run, so that's 30 hours. So it'll finish in the morning. Uh, I would imagine Wednesday PST means literally 0000. So that means midnight Wednesday PST. So that means that it's going to be an uber, uber fast RTG. All the points are going to be reduced and squashed down from what they've said. So you could imagine uh, in normal road score, you have to do 280, 290 points to get the event card. Uh, when you get to the event card, they will reduce it down massively to sound like 150 or something crazy like that. And all the other cards will be reduced down as well. So it'll be nice, quick, fast-paced action. I'm actually surprised they didn't do another RD for this, but I'm, I imagine that's because if they are going to have some really crazily good cards in here. So speculation. What this could potentially mean is that as of Wednesday, we get an update for the game, which releases a brand new tier into the game. There could be two brand new tiers. You've got to think about that. There is every possibility it could be more than one tier, which obviously would be a big, big, big announcement. Like a huge, huge, huge announcement if they were to decide to go and do that. Um, but, the other thing you got, but the other thing you've got to think of is it could also be um, no brand new tier and it could just be a, just a big, big announcement that they've got something planned for WrestleMania and maybe there might be another Flash event afterwards. Now, hold up. I know there's a few of you who are going to be like, One Entire Nations is a Flash event, man. Well, I've got links. I'm going to show them up in the top right-hand side. Go check them out. It explains pretty much exactly what a Flash event is. Just wanted to get it out there just in case anyone asks. And I'll link them into the description in the comment section as well for easy viewing. I want to know what your opinions are on this because... For me, this is very, very exciting. It's been long overdue that something new needs to come into the game. Do you think this is just another tier, or do you think we are due a bigger, bigger update, which is going to maybe uh, include brand new game modes, maybe some brand new Money in the Bank rewards? And please, if this is a WrestleMania update, can we please have some WrestleMania Money in the Bank rewards? I asked about this in my last update. I think this is something they should do. I think we'll see more during the week. There'll be a couple of teasers as well. I wouldn't be surprised if on Tuesday, straight Wednesday morning, I'm actually going to go out there and say Tuesday, we start seeing something if it's a brand new tier. All I would say is it's not confirmed 100%. It's definitely been hinted at. I mean, the announcement pretty much says new tier all across it. Might as well just sign it off and confirm it's a done deal. But there's every possibility it could just be the launch of a new game mode. Uh, I, I, I highly doubt it. I, I highly, highly doubt it. I'm I'm speculating, but it's, it's highly unlikely it's anything else but a brand new tier because if it was anything else, it wouldn't be this close to WrestleMania. And believe it or not, the game as of next Thursday has been live for four months. So it's been four months of Hardened, Elite, and Ultimate. Do you think it's going to be more than one tier? I've just got a huge feeling it's going to be more than one tier. 
if it is a brand new tier, I, I've got just this idea it's going to be. It'll be interesting to see how they do the packs if it is. I imagine the packs be a bit more expensive, but have like a guaranteed elite or ultimate card in it, maybe. But I want to hear what your opinions are. So let me know in the comment section below. Remember to leave a like on this video. Remember to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date. We're going to have live streams for the Fast Road to Glory on both Monday and Tuesday. So do make sure you tune in to those. We're going to see hopefully what goes on and what new stuff maybe is coming. Uh, or whether it's just another Flash event afters. Maybe, like I said in my Jericho video, we're going to get something even more overpowered. Maybe a Roman Reigns or something that's going to be ludicrously overpowered. What if PCC was to return? Just imagine the reaction that would get for WrestleMania weekend. Just picture it now. Roman versus The Undertaker. PCC, or you could do Brock versus Goldberg. You could do Bray versus Orton. I'd go with Roman versus Taker, personally. Imagine that for WrestleMania weekend. The little subscription widget is going to pop up just down here. Check the description for details to Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and player.me. I'll see you all soon. One last thing. Whilst Jericho performs that Lion Salt, and that is to... Sorry! Um, that wasn't expected, and it's a pro. Okay, I weren't lying. Hee <laughs> hee.